34 in the morning, that's a look at your headlines. Now I'm like. Four years, that's about how long I usually have to wait in the fast food line. Uh, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group joins us on Money Tuesday. We're talking about uh, investing in bonds. And now, Stuart, I know when my parents were, were, were back when I was growing up, it was a good time back then, 40 years ago, uh, 35 years ago, to invest in bonds. Uh, is it still a good investment? Well, Mike, it, it, if you can remember back to the tail end of the Jimmy Carter uh, era, mm -hmm. they had these buttons called WIN. It was with inflation now. Right. And at that point, the 10-year Treasury was paying a whopping 13.9%. And what's happened is uh, since then, with a few ebbs and flows, interest rates have pretty steadily become, have begun to drop. Right. And that's actually been a bull market for bonds. So you can imagine back then earning 13%, your yes. parents would have been yes. pretty happy with that. They bottomed out last year in July at about 1.4%. And since then, we've seen them begin to rise. And I think that is a uh, potential that may spell trouble for bonds. Okay, now let's talk <clears> about <throat> that. So if you're, if you're talking about bonds, because a lot of people do this in their 401k, they want to diversify that portfolio. So they do have some bond investments. But, but talk about some of the risks, that, the key points for that. Well, I think uh, you, the first thing would be credit risk. So you just had the uh, uh, city of Detroit file bankruptcy, mm -hmm. $18 billion, largest bankruptcy in the, in the country. And so that kind of shines a light on the credit risk, particularly if you own individual bonds. So if you own individual bonds, you want to be you make sure you're comfortable with the credit risk. You, you might need to get some professional help to do that. If you own bond funds, you've got professional management, so credit risk might not be a problem. Okay. Now you want to shift and look at bond maturity. So if you have a uh, if you have a bond fund that has a long maturity, <clears throat> you could have a problem. For example. Vanguard uh, long-term bond fund, the uh, investment grade bond fund, if you bought it last year, you put 10000 in. This year, it's worth $9,300. So you can see what's beginning ah, to happen okay. to that. Okay. Uh, and then the third thing has to do with your investment intention. So if you're, if you're not going to be pulling money out of your bonds over the next five to 10 years, it might be okay to leave the bonds where they are, particularly if you're systematically investing in those bonds. Because what's happening is you're putting new money in as interest rates are rising, and eventually, the if I'm right about the multi-year trend, that interest rates have moved from going down to moving up, mm -hmm. uh, when they peak again, you'll begin to reap those rewards. Okay, now even so, if you're looking long-term, you're looking at moderate gains, are you not, over the history of what bonds have done in the market? Well, the bonds, uh, <clears throat> Some people, you know, people will have gains if they've held their uh, funds for a long period of time. I think okay. what you want to be really careful of is at this point in time, if I'm right about interest rates, and interest rates are going to have a multi-year trend in terms of rising, okay. uh, I think you want to pay particular attention, take a fresh look at your bond for portfolio, make sure that the credit quality and the uh, average maturity mm. meets your long-term goals. All right. Good advice here today from uh, Stuart Welch. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Mike. All right. Coming up.